Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make use of Python program in order to tweet automatically. So there are a few things which you need before you start this program. So first thing obviously you need is a Twitter account because we are going to make use of that Twitter account in order to create this Python program. And the second thing which you need is obviously access to Twitter APIs. So for that you have to apply by going to developer.twitter.com and then third thing which we need is inventory of all the messages which you want to have and then you are going to you know uh, send these messages uh, frequently so you need to make sure you already have all of these things so in my case or in this example basically i'm just going to use uh, inspirational inventory so it's just a csv file which is having all the inspirational quotes and uh, all of these inspirational quotes i'm gonna use it uh, and going to tweet about these inspirational quotes every hour okay so you may want to create this kind of program for various reasons so for example let's say you have uh, some products uh, which you want to promote and you already know it is quite uh, obvious that you have to post on twitter quite frequently if you want to keep your audience engaged and there can be other reasons for example let's say you have a twitter account where you talk about uh, inspirational quotes or you talk about uh, or probably it's a comedy uh, twitter account where you want to send jokes uh, frequently in that case you may you know want to create all the jokes at once and then you want to post it let's say once in every day okay so there can be very uh, various reasons in which you want to use this kind of uh, automatic program so the program itself is going to be very easy we are going to make use of python and tweepy which is a, a module which is created to interact with uh, twitter and using this everything becomes so easy now once you have the program created after that you don't want to you know run this program obviously on your desktop because then it's not going to be running 24 by 7 you are going to shut down uh, your desktop or laptop whatever so in that case you need to make sure you also host this program on one of the you know providers hosting providers which allow you to run python programs and if you don't want to spend any money in that case you can make use of ibm cloud uh, they provide you option of you know signing up without credit card and also they provide you option of running any sort of python functions uh, which doesn't really require you to create a server you can just create a function you can provide your python code there and then you can also schedule this code uh, to run uh, at whatever interval you want so for example if you want to run it every hourly you can go ahead and schedule it to run every hour uh, so that's pretty much about uh, this program let's go ahead and i'm going to show you how i have created this program i'm probably not going to go into more detail of this program i'm just going to give you you know quick overview of how it works and then going to share the code with you which you can make use of so see you straight into this so now here on my twitter account you can see these are the you know tweets which has happened automatically and all of these you can see these are having the same hashtag because this is coming from the program and the only thing which is changing is uh, quotes and uh, you can see all of these quotes are coming straight from this uh, csv file which i had downloaded so obviously no credits to me and also you can see that some of these uh, you know tweets have already started getting you know some likes and some retweets and also one of the funny thing is which i saw is that one of the tweets was actually getting retweeted by uh, one of the bot account okay so that can happen as well uh, but yeah so i'm almost running this program from uh, 24 hours and i can see that you know uh, uh, the tweets have been happening uh, regularly and there is no issue which i have seen as of now i don't really see tweety, uh, twitter trying to block my account in any way and also you know the kind of traction which i'm getting is not really quite good as of now i just see you know a couple of likes on some other tweets but that can be because you know all the tweets which i'm posting is it is related to age and probably not really related to some of the other uh, genre, uh, genre which does good okay so you may have to play a bit and you have to try to understand which is the kind of tweet which does good and you have to uh, modify your data set to keep only those you know uh, tweets which gets good uh, i'll say which gets good amount of likes or uh, retweets okay but anyway my idea was to just you know create this uh, program which can do auto tweeting and i'm not really trying to you know create this uh, program to you know promote my account or so so that's why it works fine for me but uh, i hope this program has given you enough idea that how you can create your own program uh, using which you should be able to you know uh, automatically tweet so thank you so much for watching
So if you already have a Twitter account, in that case, you can go to developer.twitter.com and then you need to go to developer portal. And once you go there, it's going to ask you to apply for uh, apply for a new application. Then once you create that request, it's going to probably take some time before your request gets approved. So mine got approved like within uh, 12 hours or a little less than 12, uh, 12 hours. And after that, I was able to see this screen. Okay, so once you go there, there is going to be option of project and apps. So you're going to click on project and apps, then you're going to create a new project. So in this case, uh, the new project which I have created is called Twitter, uh, Tweet Creator. And uh, once you click here, then you can see the application which is under that project. So in this case, the application which I have is called I'm Vikas underscore tweet dot bot. Okay, this is the one which I use to create uh, automatic tweets. and you can see the application here as well then also you see option of settings and keys okay so if you want to regenerate your keys you can click here and it's gonna create or regenerate the keys so you are going to use uh, you are going to regenerate the keys when you feel like that your id password is already being used by someone else or you think that it has been somewhere compromised so in that case you can just click here on keys and tokens and you can uh, regenerate all the keys and tokens again so in this case i'm not going to do that i'm just going to click on this application again and then i'm going to show you app permissions okay this is one of the important things so in app and permission by default it is read only so in that case if you are going to create uh, uh, the program it's just going to be able to read the tweet it's not going to be able to write the tweets or send messages so you need to make sure you edit the permission and you change it to read write and direct messages okay that's all you need uh, that's all pretty much you need after that uh, you are good to create the program so now uh, before we create the program i'm also going to show you this is the url from which i downloaded all the inspirational quotes and it's a big list it is just having like almost like 80,000 uh, inspirational quotes okay and also if you see uh, yeah you can see here it is having like 75,000 inspirational quotes so uh, after downloading that I just uh, use pandas and then with that uh, with the help of pandas I read this uh, quotes.csv and the separator which is being used in this uh, file is semicolon so once you do that you can see uh, DF dot shape, which is telling you that it is having seventy five thousand nine hundred sixty six uh, records, and it is having three columns. Now, if you want to see the columns, uh, there are three columns, which is called quotes, author, and genre. So, if you uh, select genre, you are going to see that it is having inspirational quotes about uh, many, you know, topics. And from that topic, we are going to just pick one of the topic uh, and going to send tweet. And now, uh, in order to you know understand this program, you need to understand bit of Python because I'm not gonna go into a lot of details about this program. But only important thing to remember here is that we are using TweePy, so you need to make sure that you have already installed TweePy by using pip install TweePy. And also, if you are on Conda, then in that case, you need to use Conda command to install TweePy. And then, if you just see here, this is the file which I'm opening. Okay, this file is just keeping track of. You know what is the total number of tweets which have been sent as of now okay this is just a kind of you know counter which uh, which is just incrementing by one and it is telling us that how many tweets i have already sent so right now if i go to this file i can see that you know i have sent around some 40 to 50 tweets already uh, now the program the actual program starts from here so we are having we are reading this quotes file and then we have created a function which is tweet now and uh, which is receiving a uh, message and then if we see this is just about you know this is about uh, authentication and here we are passing all the you know keys which was generated using to, uh, twitter developer account okay so remember i talked about uh, keys so this is the this is the place where we need to go uh, again i'm not going into more details because i'm just going to give the link of this program which you can just make use of also the program itself is very easy so if you see once you make the successful authentication after that you are just going to and after that you are calling this api again to update the status message so by update status message what i mean here is that you are uh, basically updating a tweet or creating a tweet whatever you want to call it this is where our program is actually you know kind of starting from here we read all the items which are available in data frames and then if you see here i'm seeing whether the index is less than latest tweet number so what we are trying to do here is if you remember i told you that we are keeping a counter so we are just checking whether the latest message which is available in the file is less than the counter so if it is less than the counter then we just want to ignore it so basically we want to continue looping through and if it is a new message then we want to send the new message 
Also, if you see here, I have uh, already copied all the inspirational hashtags, which I want to send along with the tweet as well. So that's why I've created variable, which keeps a track of all the hashtags. And then uh, we are calling tweet now function. So this is a function which we have created. Okay. And this is a function which gets called when you, uh, when you call it by using tweet now. And also here we are passing the code. Okay. This is the inspirational quotes, which we are passing. And also we are passing the name of the author because I don't want to just pass the name of the tweet without uh, giving credit to the author. And then you also specify the hashtag. So this hashtag, so basically all of this gets uh, combined and it gets sent by using this function. Okay, so this is pretty much easy. Uh, the program itself is quite easy. I'm just gonna leave it to you how you want to explore and understand it.